Hello everybody, welcome to Germister Gaming. Uh, I'm here with a quick little uh, tutorial on how to increase your energy capacity um, or your battery, um, essentially what you're doing with your energy cell to, so you have more power for any of your uh, constructs that you build or anything that you put together in the world. Uh, to do this, you need crystallized charges. Um, in order to have crystallized charges, you can get some from enemy drops in the world you get large ones which are good i think they're 20 uh but generally you want a large amount of zonite and i have just recorded a video about farming zonite you can check that out on my channel um it should be the video that goes up right before this um uh that video will go up uh, the day before this so that video will be up for a day before this one drops anyways so now that we've done our farming run i'm all ready to go i'm going to show you quickly how i get crystallized charges and then take them in and convert that into energy and that way i can build better machines that run further go faster fly higher all the stuff we want to do in this game as we get to the end game um, i'm not very far into the game but that's okay uh all right so i have just come out of the farming run you can watch the video it's this area it'll tell you all about what to do and i did mention that we are first heading to abandoned terry mine i have placed one of my travel medallions here it will stay here until i find a better place to purchase the crystallized charges and Basically, all we're going to do now is we're going to buy crystallized charges, and then we're going to convert those into energy. If you check my other video, it'll tell you how to get here. So I got my travel right there. Right over here. No, I don't want one. I'm going to buy all of your crystallized charges, sir. So that'll cost me 90. No problem. I've got 300. I came out of my last farming run with much more than I needed. And then we'll come here. And you do not get as much large. But I've got enough for two of these. So I will take two's worth. So I've only got one large zonite. That's okay. So I've got 134 now. So I essentially have enough <laughs> to get myself an energy block. Uh, if you want, there's lots of pose down here. You can run around and collect them. I've got tons of pose. I'm not interested in that. So... From abandoned terry mine, I'm going to travel all the way down into the great abandoned central mine, which if you've made it there, you have the fast travel point because it does have a fast travel point on it. And that is our second forge construct that we will buy more crystallized charges from because we want to clear out all that zonite we just farmed. The count for zonite that you pull out of the run is uh, you get about uh, roughly 150, give or take. Um, if you run it kind of properly, the enemies all drop zonite, you get all the deposits that you have to break. And you can watch my other video again if you'd like to know more about that. Right now, we are just going to do a quick energy. I'm going to buy all of these. Um, yes, it's a deal. Still got lots. Okay, so I still have, so I have 160. I can only get one cell right now. Um, if I wait for the red moon, all I got to do is come back and I can buy both these guys out and I'll get a whole other energy cell. And then I still have to find more mines because obviously there's tons of space to, uh, to get. So if you're interested in how to get here, I came down through this chasm, which is right here, Scouts Hill, Forest of Time. It's just at the bottom of Hyrule Field. I jumped in there and then essentially from here, you just kind of head uh, west and uh, you should find it. It's an illuminated structure. I haven't hit the light route yet. You can see the light route uh, that will expose this just off the side here, right there. I just haven't done that yet. Um, so now that we've bought what we want though, we are gonna go to, um, well, if you really wanna get fancy, you can travel to, uh, so that guy's a converter, I think. Of awakening you travel up here and then there's another forge construct but he doesn't sell you quite as many let's go check out what he's got though because i i believe i usually travel here and i wish the route landed it differently so that you could go to the uh the converter the guy that converts the crystallized uh charges into energy load screens that's why we enjoy our ps5s and our pcs with our ssds i find the ps5 still kind of owns for the load times they don't tackle that well but that being said i just spent a week on the road playing this game which was absolutely fantastic um 
So yeah, I come down over here if you want to hit one more guy. Um, get in the comments if you know where some uh, some other good uh, places to purchase the uh, crystallized charges are. I have yet to find them. This game obviously is absolutely massive and it takes time to get to doing anything. Um, so yes, as I find them, it'll make it easier to kind of travel around and spend all that zonite. Here, pick up all these. I have like hundreds and hundreds of these. I'm actually gonna start selling them soon. That'll be what I'd like to do. Um, I'm just gonna go down to this last forge construct and see how many crystallized charges he can sell me. Because I don't think he's gonna get me enough to put me up into the. Oh, I think we have some zona here we can farm quickly. We can pick up. Don't ever like to leave Zonite behind. We've got a box breaker here. Yeah, this stuff's always useful. People say, oh yeah, you can always come back and just farm this stuff, but the farming run I put up is like a significant amount. You're over a hundred Zonite every time, so it's very good. And if you're already packing some in your inventory, it'll put you up to that point where you can buy. You essentially can buy an energy, uh, an energy well. You can buy enough crystallized charges to, to get the power and the battery level increase, which is what we're after. So yeah, I don't think this guy has that much for sale. All of them, 30. Let's see what he puts me to. So yeah, I still need 30 more. Uh, no big deal. We got enough zonite to buy that. I'm actually going to leave that all there. I'm not worried about it. Um, and I tend to travel to Lookout Landing and go to this guy. This guy might actually be faster, though. Um, if you're big on saving time, you would, again, just go back here. Because the gentleman, the, the gentleman, the construct that converts your... Uh, crystallized charges into energy is right beside this travel point. So I've been doing this every time the blood moon hits. I go run the farming loop and I get all that stuff and then I go and get myself some energy uh, upgrades because uh, I'm really looking forward to have some flying machines that last longer and then really fucking around with some building on the ground. Um, I'm still pretty new into this anyways, so there we go. We just broke into our fifth well. And that's it. That is how you increase your energy capacity um, quite quickly. So you watch my farming run, you check this out, and uh, don't forget to smash the like button, subscribe. There's more great content on my channel for this, and I will have more content coming out as I continue to play Legend of Zelda Tears of the Kingdom. Germister Gaming here. Thank you so much for tuning in. That is how you get more energy every time the red moon hits. Reset, run it again, get it done. And as I find more efficient ways, I will be sure to upload them. Thanks for tuning in. Adios.